Hello, welcome to Invictus uh, for the auction of this uh, kit car, Marlin Roadster. Obviously, if you know anything about these old 60s kit cars, they were inspired by the Morgans and it was a cheaper way to get into something phenomenal like this. I purchased this from my uncle. It's one of those projects that is surplus to requirement due to being a Porsche specialist and I've got probably way too many things happening at the same time. I've done pretty much all the nut and bolt restoration of the paintwork, the chassis. Uh, what's remaining is uh, to put the engine back together and probably some interior work. I guess, you know, whoever out there is looking for something like this, they would absolutely love it and they shouldn't have to spend too much to get it finalized and would love to see it back here at Invictus for a review. Hi everyone, my name is Tim. I work for Invictus Motors and today we have next to us, in pieces, albeit, a Marlin Roadster, which was registered in 1967. Now, these are kit cars and it's uh, based on the Triumph Vitesse. So it has the running gear and the drive gear, the engine, all of that stuff is from a Triumph Vitesse, which has a two liter straight six engine with 95 brake horsepower, which may not sound like a lot, but it's a very light car. And when it is running, it drives very good and it's pretty fast for what it is. This car has a top speed of 104 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 of just under 11 seconds, which you've got to bear in mind, it was made in the late 60s. And for that era, those are very, very good figures. This car was purchased as a bit of a project. And as you can see, it is in pieces. So what happened is we purchased this car, it wasn't running. So we had the engine removed and sent to a specialist and the body was sent to a body shop. As you can see, the entire body has been resprayed in beautiful British racing green. It's all been under sealed and there is not a single speck of rust on this car. A lot of time and effort went into the bodywork. Now, in terms of the engine, everything is here. You've got three boxes of miscellaneous items and you've got your main running gear here. So the car has been dry stored inside under a cover since it got back from the body shop, but the engine is a different story. Unfortunately, the engine needs a comprehensive rebuild and we simply don't have the time to basically to get the rebuild and do it. So we're gonna put the car up for sale as an unfinished project for a like-minded car enthusiast to just spend some time, effort and love and get the car running. Everything that you'd need to get the car running is here as it was a complete car, but was dismantled. As I said before, you've got three boxes here, miscellaneous houses and parts. In terms of what we've done mechanically, we had both carburetors rebuilt professionally, which cost quite a lot of money. And you know, it's got everything here. You've got the block there. You've got your head gasket, your head crankshaft, uh, rocker cover, camshaft, intake manifold, clutch, flywheel, alternator, the fan, the water pump and thermostat, your pan, oil pan, you've got your starter motor just behind the engine, you've got the adapter plate for the gearbox and the engine, obviously you've got the gearbox, transmission tunnel cover, your prop shaft, exhaust, number plates, windscreen wipers, side mirrors, everything that this car needs to go back together is here. On this end, as you can see, we've got a brand new radiator. We've got the bonnet catch there as well. We've got three hubcaps, unfortunately. We can't find the fourth one. And we've got the brake calipers for the front brakes as well. All the car pits for the Marlin are all here as well. We've laid them out nicely and Andy will go over all of them in detail. I don't know, he never told me. In terms of the engine bay, all the wiring and electronics are all here. You've got your coolant expansion tank there you know, your pedal box, all of that stuff is still attached to the car. And if you move back here, you've got your olden style wooden dash and steering wheel. It really looks the part and it makes the car look very timeless. You've got your recently trimmed leather seats. Your handbrake is still there, not connected to anything, but it's still there. And you know, there is not a single speck of rust on this car. So as you can see, the car's all nicely packed away now, ready for the new owner to come and pick it up. It will be going on eBay very shortly on an auction and hopefully it goes for good money as 10% of the final bid will be going to a UK registered charity, not the profit, 
the, the final bid. So hopefully we, we can raise a good amount of money. It's Christmas time, it's cold out there, people need it. And just in general, it's a beautiful project for someone. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's something different on the Invictus Motors channel. And hopefully there's more stuff like this to come.